Well, we're off to a little rainy start, but today Sam Ministries is holding its Street Defeat race. This is the third annual race to help the homeless of San Antonio. And there are a lot more than people realize, and it's not the, just the stereotype of homeless. That's correct. Uh, there's approximately 4,000 homeless people in San Antonio at any point in time. Sam Ministries takes care of 11 to 1,200 of those people every single night here in San Antonio. But today, we've got about 800 to 1,000 runners out here raising money for Sam Ministries. They are dedicated. I'm telling you, because it was really raining a lot harder than it is right now when we started this race, but they're out, they're going. And you know, this is a kind of a fun race, but it's also competitive. There's the chip timers for the folks that are competitive, and then you can just walk and run and enjoy the race. And how, not just how many people, but how important is this to Sam Ministries and the Street Defeat program? The winner of the third annual Toyota Texas Street Defeat right there! Well, it's, it's awesome. That, and you mentioned the Street Defeat program, which is a program for homeless men and women. And Elizabeth Rosenblum started that program, and since she has, about 500 single men and women have gone through that program, and it's changing their lives. And people might also think, well, the SAM Center down there, well, that's not there anymore, and it's Haven for Hope, and SAM isn't involved, but you are in a big way. Yes. Uh, oh, here on the Haven for Hope campus, we run the dormitory, so we have about 146,000 square feet on the campus of Haven for Hope, as well as the 66,000 square feet facility on Blanco Road for families. And how else can you need help from the community? Volunteers, donations, all kinds of stuff. Well, yes, we need folks' time and their treasures. So uh, a lot of people do donate, and we still need lots of donations. However, if uh, they can give their time for volunteering, that would help as well. Uh, anything else I haven't asked you about this? I mean, the, it, volunteers, you put this on when uh, it's, it's dry now, but it <laughs> wasn't. See, see, God has answered our prayers. It's stopped raining. And now, how about you have a lot of supporters here in terms of businesses? Right. We, our primary sponsor this year was uh, Toyota Texas, and they've done a great job, including not only just their sponsorship, but also providing food and water for our runners, so they're a great company. And I know you work with them closely, but Haven for Hope, people don't realize how much this has changed this community. It really has. We're very proud to be a part of the Haven for Hope campus. We're making a difference in, a lot of, in the lives of a lot of homeless people. Right, Street Defeat has pretty much got me in the best shape of my life. Uh, since I started a year ago in the program, uh, I, c I couldn't even run a 5K. And now I'm, I'm putting in some pretty, pretty quick times. Uh, I'm trying to get down into the 17s, but today with the weather, it just wouldn't happen for me. Well, how did you come to uh, Haven for Hope, and how well, did it change your life? I came to Haven for Hope about a year and three months ago. Uh, I lost my job. I was unable to relocate, and something led me to these doors and with the, the benefits of Sam's ministry and Haven for Hope, uh, it's put a new, new career in my eyes, got me in the best shape of my life, and uh, it's opened up a lot of doors for me. It really has. And you now want to be a personal trainer, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I should be taking my test within a couple of weeks to get my certification as a personal trainer through Cooper's Institute. And uh, thanks to Haven for Hope and Sam's Ministries, it's it's making that possible. Anything else you want to add? Uh, yeah, I would like to to give a big shout out to Elizabeth Rosenblum Bring it in. for putting everything together for us and being there when when everybody needed her. One, two, three,